Hey, how's it going, everybody? Stellis there here with a quick video for you guys. Um, since I'll just be talking during this video, um, I give you this scenic Minecraft view. Um, but this is in reference to people who use a Netgear router, specifically the WNDR3400. But it doesn't matter; it'll work with any Netgear um, router that uses the Netgear Smart Wizard. Um, this video is being made on November. 28th, since technically it's Thanksgiving today, 2013, so it might be outdated if you're watching this two years from now, um, no big deal, but anyways, this is regarding port forwarding and Minecraft servers, but port forwarding again in general, so Netgear has this crazy thing where, in my case, I made a port, I forwarded a port um, some two years ago, and switched uh, router somewhere in the process, did a few more things, and I lost the configuration for the forwarded port, but Netgear's router system thought it was still in place, and so when I would go to port forward the 25565 port that's needed for Minecraft again, it would tell me that it was already a port that was forwarded and it was conflicted, so it couldn't forward this existing port, if you're following what I'm saying here. Um, if you are, you'll know what I'm talking about, because it'll give you the port conflict error when you go to apply settings from forwarding a custom um, service. So to fix that, I didn't know what to do. Called Netgear, paid 80 bucks for technical support service. It was insane. And all you have to do is let me go ahead and just check it out here so I can tell you guys specifically. You go to the backup settings under maintenance that's on the left hand side of the blue column. Um, under maintenance, backup settings, you click that, and you're going to log in, and it's going to ask you to either save a copy of current settings, restore saved settings from a file, or revert to factory default settings. This is so obvious, and I knew this is what I had to do, I just didn't know how to do it, and I just, I feel like a complete idiot for paying this much money on this, but I don't want it to happen to you guys. So go ahead and save a copy of your current settings by clicking the backup button. Um, it'll give you a CFG file, save that to your desktop, and then you go down to revert to factory default settings, hit erase, it'll erase any um, settings you have, so that means a wireless network that you have set up, um, the SSID you use, the passwords, it'll erase all of that, so you'll have to go back and reconfigure that all, it doesn't take long, it takes like five minutes, but that's, you know, the, the deal, that's what you're signing up for. So you erase it, and it goes, it does everything, and it's great, and you can forward whatever port you need, and you can you can play Minecraft on a server or whatever forwarded port you need to do. Um, and if something went wrong, just go ahead and go to the same backup settings, restore saved settings from a file, get that CFG file that you made when you backed up, and restore it. Um, not a big deal. It's really simple. Um, if you guys want help for port forwarding, go ahead and leave a comment, and I can make a video on that, especially for port forwarding a Minecraft server. Um, leave a comment, and if you already basically know what you're doing, but having trouble with the port forwarding, and your router specifically, go to portforward.com, and they'll give you a complete guide with screenshots, so I'll leave that in the description as well. But thank you for watching, I really hope this helped a lot of you guys, it's really aggravating, um, and apparently a lot of people have been having it, and there's been no obvious solution, except for the one I just found that I paid $8 for. So, uh, hope you guys have a great night, I'm having a great night. Um, thanks for watching. Still us their commentaries.